start with this. We're going to create a new object here. And uh, there we go. And we're going to view the output as integers first. All right. And the simplest messages that you can actually send are, for example, setting things um, directly uh, to values. So you give it a 10, and the left inlet, boom, you get a 10. Right. This is really not doing much. You send it to 1,000, right, it becomes 1,000. Right. What's powerful about the line object is that you can interpolate between values. And so, for example, instead of just a 10 message, you could send it a 10 plus the amount of time it takes to go from or go from whatever value it is right now to 10. Right, you see that it goes down like that. And then also, if you want to go the other way, the value goes first and then the time value goes later. So let's say you just want to do it in one second, go to the value 1,000 in one second, there you go. Um, if you want to actually do flow nums on this, so let's take a look at this, uh, you can actually send it a value, for example, not just 1,000, but let's just go 3.415, let's see what it does over one second, connect that there, right, and you plug it in, and of course we're only viewing integers, and so we'll connect it to a flow num instead, right. Um, unfortunately, un unless you give the line object an argument of a floating point number like zero point something, um, you won't actually see the uh, floating point. Uh, it won't actually process it as a floating point number. So now we're at a thousand, we'll bring it and you see now that you actually do get um, the floating point number value.